and today I want to share this book with you. It's called Botanical Painting with Gouache, a step-by-step -step guide with Simon Williams. Um, this book has been published in 2016 and it's just a different take on the traditional watercolor botany and um, so I thought you might be interested. I have recently added gouache paints to my um, paint supplies and was curious how different gouache paintings um, flower paintings would look so I wanted to just explore a little bit so here is the contents we've got materials and tools paint tools paper and board techniques brush angles handling color highlights step-by-step -step projects so if you're interested in those you you have a bit of a tutorial here and there are one two three four five six seven of the step-by-step -step projects including tulip iris rose mixed fruit study um, orchid dahlia and a Baudelaire David with peacock butterflies is that it I guess that could be it um, and then we have painting in situ and then suppliers and things like that so just to give you a look there's a lot of um, black in this book but it's not all black but there are some of these because obviously gouache paint is quite opaque it lends itself quite well onto dark um, backgrounds which is quite dramatic it's quite hard to achieve that with watercolor although there are techniques to do that as well but with gouache and its opacity it's much easier to do that and um, I quite like this style as well so I thought it would be a good idea to explore a little bit and you also have white pages as well so here are materials and tools uh, the artist talks about the paints that he uses in his palette paper and board and then we have techniques the size of the um, the text is quite good I find it's not too small the pages are nice and large so you have enough space things are not cluttered on a page and I find that everything is kind of laid out quite well um, and then we have highlights and then we start the step-by-step -step project so I'll give you an idea of what uh, one of them would look like so here is a uh, tulip and then you have a little um, information on this project and we have materials and line extra fine artist gouache so the colors that will be used um, here we have the drawing part in the stage one then we have stage two and stage three you can see there's um, enough information to learn from this book and then stage four and stage five and then finally we have the stage six and at the end you get useful tips so that would be one lesson um, out of seven and it carries on uh, throughout the other flowers and uh, that's the orchid and a bit of a composition as well and that is the purple flowers with the butterflies that we saw in the beginning of the page. So there's some sort of preparation here that um, probably is quite useful to learn about gouache paints, how to preserve them a bit better. And there you go. Then we have painting in situ plants from the southern hemisphere. So these are a bit more exotic and very beautiful plant hunting in Borneo so I suppose the uh, artist must have traveled yes so I stayed in the north of Borneo at Sapa so 
he must have been doing quite a bit of traveling and obviously being interested in all this beautiful botany um, exotic botany he then has been painting uh, in plain air and probably giving some advice on how to maybe do sketching and things like that uh, or how to um, familiarize yourself with certain uh, plants that are exotic to our climate so that is it nice and short um, I think you know it's definitely uh, an interesting book to explore if you are into botanical art if you love flowers um, and yeah if you're curious about learning how different gouache behaves to watercolors I think that could be a uh, useful book for you to gather some information about different techniques and um, that is it for today thanks for watching and see you soon